Good boy. Who's excited for a walk? Yeah! <laughs> oh, you excited? Yes, you are. Oh, you excited. This is Max Cooper. He's going on his first nature walk of the weekend. Go, Cooper. Go, Come. All right, 4th of July. Me and Max and Roman are going on a walk. Um, Roman's allergic to dogs, so this should be very interesting. Uh, we're going to a park across the street called Rittenhouse Park, where I grew up. Oh, someone's excited for a 4th of July walk. Yes, yes, Papa. So Max is a descendant of Cersei from Game of Thrones. Uh, he was born as a bastard child, but uh, we still love him very much. He loves walks. He loves to enjoy walks. It's one of his favorite pastimes. Problem is, when you're walking him, he wants to play tug of war with his own leash. So it's hard to walk because he just goes He just wants to play tug of war with you. Left. One of the most dangerous operations is walking a dog uh, across the street. You have to put yourself in between him, almost like a dog sandwich, to protect the dog in case he decides to leapfrog out. Uh, I actually lost one dog crossing a road when I was eight. Yeah, I've actually had some horrible, horrible deaths in the family with dogs. Four dogs died in front of me, all in horrible different scenarios. One killed itself by jumping off and hanging itself between a rock and uh, a bamboo, I'll get to that later. One went across the street, one's appendix burst, one died at me under the table. Very awkward. What? Are you excited? Look at his jaw, it's like shaking. Oh, you're excited. Okay. That's why you're so scared. Alright, let's keep him moving. Max, come on. Oh boy. All right, this is called Rittenhouse Park. Uh, it is a massive little state park where they hold camps. When we were younger, we would come here and we'd shoot archery, go canoeing uh, for the entire summer. The age ranges from like 10 to 15 years old, but this park is just so pretty. A couple different things you could do here. You can play in the water, um, you could go hiking in the trails above, and you can also go canoeing over yonder. This was just like an activities camp that we would come to um, from like eight to five during the week so our parents could do their thing. Max is such a psycho, he never gets to go out, so when he does, uh, let's go, we could go either. Let's go to the left. He looks like Nuno's but bigger. Yeah. Oh, he sees a doggy. He's so feminine. I'll tell you, Max, I don't know why I ever leave this place. Max is indeed a, a boy, uh, but he's very feminine. He pees like a girl, he walks like a girl, talks like a girl, he wants to be caressed and loved like a girl, but he's mine, and I love him for it. So basically, you have all these little cool trails that go about two miles deep into the woods, and alongside the trails are a river, or we call it a creek, a nice little creek to go canoeing in. Uh, a lot of ticks have been known to live back here. There's also snakes and other wildlife um, that you don't want to cross this line here or you'll get eaten by ticks. Look, I got my dad's dope ass Yeezys on. These things are fresh, man. Thanks, dad. We're looking for a place where Max can go in the water and look for some crayfish, but there's other dogs and other people around and Max might attack. He's vicious when he's hungry. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Hey, Max. Yeah. Max. Max, be a good dog if we let you go, okay? Do we have a deal? Come back. All right. Now, I heard earlier a couple kids saying the floor is lava. So I've inspected these rocks, and in fact, the floor is not lava. This could be uh, residue from a volcano blast, but many, many moons ago. So I think we're in the clear now. These kids are full of shit. Oh yeah! Ah. This is fun, isn't it? Oh yeah, check it out. He's having so much fun. You had enough? No? <gasps> what? Uh, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> hey, puppy. 
Will you stop? No! Okay, there are uh, turtles potentially back here, so careful. Classic game of hop rocks. No, we got We got this, girl. <laughs> Can I help you? You think this is man-made? Go back. Well, I don't know where we're going. What, what are we gonna do? You go. Max, let's go, Psycho. I remember how I said Max was uh, feminine, so he thinks he's a tough guy and runs ahead of us like he's gonna go scat out the area for us, then he runs back scared. Oh God, Max, Max! Why are you barking at people? So as I was saying before, Max decided to almost kill somebody. Uh, he gets ahead of us for like 100 feet, acts like a tough guy, then he gets scared and runs back to us. Where are you guys? So scared. 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 So far, no bears inside. I hadn't had, I, I didn't have to protect James yet. Okay, we just turned around. It was a two mile course, going back home to get some R&R. &R. We're going back to New York tonight at 5.55 p.m. on a train, on a hot, hot train. So we gotta go pack and stuff. Max, hi. Thank you. Cool. I always thought it was cool, all the trees out here have a lack of water so all the roots are exposed and you can see how complex and complicated a root's uh, nervous system is. Oh, well, look. Oh my god. Indians were here, James. Yeah. Classic sign. Yep, the sticks. Eight rocks. Mm-hmm. They were here. Yeah. He's completely out of energy. He lost his mojo a couple minutes ago. You gotta pace yourself out in the woods. You get to shower now, puppy. Yeah, I can hold him. Hold on. Baby. Oh, yes. Dog wash complete. All right, your favorite duo is out of here. See you, Delaware. We're getting on the train right now and going back to Nueva York. Your favorite what? Duo. It's like two uh -huh. people. Like kind of like a tag team. I don't know if we're gonna get in time to see the uh... Fireworks? Yeah. You think you're a rock star? This does not say Ramon. I thought it did. It does say Ramon. Or Roman. Ramon. Why doesn't it say Roman? Can we just switch the A and the O? Yes. Ah! Uh. Check the car.